Yay. Wait, we didn't even preface this. I don't watch Dancing with the Stars, but I'm going to this season. She's going to. It's very important to me and my heart. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Showbiz Pop 5. I'm your host, Whitney Danhauer. I'm Lauren Anderson, and since Dancing with the Stars returns on September 19th, we are talking about five things that you need to know heading into week one, because that's what we do here. You know I do this every week? I'm trying to make it my thing. (laughs) I love it. Is it working? (laughs) Let us know in the comments. (laughs) Down below. (laughs) The first thing, and probably the most important thing, is where to tune into Dancing with the Stars. It's not going to be airing on ABC anymore. It's moving to Disney+. Plus which I I don't know how this is going to work. Because yeah. do, does Disney Plus have anything that's live right now? No. I, I know they're solely to stream. It's the, it's the first show that they've taken yeah. to stream live. Which so I'm nervous a little bit. I feel like it's going to cause their ratings to just plummet. That or I'm also worried like when people tune into HBO Max to watch like Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon, it crashes. So is Disney Plus going to just like... Does it? Because I'm not going to be happy. Wait, what crashes? Like HBO Max when people. Oh, the app? Yeah. Is Dancing with the Stars that popular? Oh, it's wildly popular. (laughs) It's the same crowd that watches when Bachelor or Bachelorette's done. That same crowd just moves right on over to this wholesome, beautiful. Love dancing. (laughs) Yes. But the move to Disney Plus, I was kind of curious about it, but it was just strictly business. Um, There wasn't any like. Animosity. ABC owns Disney. Yes. Disney owns ABC, which, whichever way that goes. Whichever way it works. It is considered a family show. Disney Plus is a family app. And they do a themed Disney night every season of Dancing with the Stars. So it makes sense. Mm-hmm. We'll see how it goes. Nice okay. tie in. I forget last season if there were only three judges, but we're having four judges this season. Len Goodman, Carrie Ann Inaba, Bruno Tonioli, and Derek Huff is back. He wasn't there. It was either 29 or 30 because of COVID. Like he had COVID? I think he got COVID. I forget. And then Len Goodman wasn't there the one season because he couldn't make it back from the UK. He couldn't travel because of COVID. Len Goodman? He wasn't there? Can't believe it. He, well, he's, I, <laughs> he's the... He, I think he was on the original British series that like inspired Dancing okay. with the Stars. And he's always fun because he's like the angriest judge. This is like a crash course for me. And she's giving me these points and I'm reacting to them. In real time. So you're seeing right. my actual... Sorry, I just really got excited. She clearly... She couldn't stop herself. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. To talk about Dancing with the Stars. I don't know who Lynn Goodman is, but she said it with such, you know, shock that I had to be like, <laughs> Lynn Goodman? He is so. head honcho. He is okay. an expert in ballroom dance. Um, The oldest judge on the show everybody on the judging panel has ballroom experience as you could probably guess he's he's the harshest critic i would say out of all the oldest and the meanest yeah yeah he's a little bit of a curmudgeon he gets booed sometimes which is always fun um, it's always an achievement like people go into this competition they want a a 10 from len because he always he says from len a 10 and it's it's just a joy (laughs) okay this next point is I don't I don't know like how thrilling you're gonna find it, but um, Conrad Green is returning as the executive producer. Conrad, Conrad Green. <laughs> <laughs> he was he started the show when the show started in June 2005. He was there. He left in 2014 to produce a show called Utopia, which didn't watch. But Watched it. Loved it. Did you love it? Yeah. <laughs> Real depressing. No. He is back now. He's replacing Angela Linares as executive producer this season. So if anybody is an OG Dancing with the Stars fan and you liked the way Conrad ran things, he's back in season 31. Back in business, baby. Speaking of back in season 31, now this, I'm sure you've heard buzz about this. Tyra Banks is back as host. She stepped in in season 39. She replaced Tom Bergeron and Aaron Andrews. And she did it. She hosted by herself season 29 and 30. I heard Brooke Burke not happy with her hosting. Oh, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of fans, I'll say. There's, there's a lot of blowback. They think she talks too much. They think she makes it about the fashion. But all the pros pretty much appreciate the like 
I don't know, I want to call it spice that she brings. Like the break from the constant dance talk, maybe? I mean, she hosted America's Next Top Model, but that was filmed. This is live. So she, I think she was just getting her feet wet a little bit because she did trip yeah. up on her words a lot. Oh, she was Fine. mean on America's Next Top Model sometimes. Yeah, I think she played into that. But anyway, she's co-hosting season 31 with Alfonso Rivero, who pretty much knows he was on Dancing with the Stars before. Excuse me, that's not what we know Alfonso Rivero from. <laughs> yes, that is his, um, that was his starring role. <laughs> Excuse me. He was Carl. go. He was Carlton, obviously. No, I lost my thought. Okay. Well, he knows what he's doing, and I think they're bringing him in to cut, because he used to step in when Tom Bergeron, like, the couldn't do it. Well, obviously, you know they're bringing that out. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. If he doesn't walk out into the ballroom yeah. doing that, I'm yeah. turning it off. Right. I'm I'm actually not going to watch if that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Tyra loves the spotlight, so I don't know how she feels about sharing the role. Yeah. But again, I don't know, have to get a feel. It's always, it's, it's, we know it's way easier to do this when there's two of us instead of uh, one of us just reading or announcing things. Like, it's not nearly as fun. So, yeah. And she, I mean, they interview the couples when they're done dancing and there's banter with the judges, but it, I, Tom Bergeron and Aaron Andrews always had, I don't know, they'd like bounce off of each other. One would be down in the ballroom. One would be behind the scenes. It just worked well. I feel like you do need two people to your point. Yeah. My final point, And this was a big deal for diehard Dancing with the Stars fans. Pro dancer Mark Ballas is returning. I don't know if you saw the picture of Mark Ballas from five years ago, but he now looks like the Aquaman of the ballroom. He's got like flowing. Oh, like a Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. Yes. He's, Hmm. he took a five year break. He was in a lot of Broadway productions. He was in Jersey boys, um, kinky boots. And then he moved over to the UK and he was doing theater over there. Um, And he was also working on music with his wife, BC Jean, but he's back now. He's back for season 31 of dancing with the stars. A lot of people. In a New York groove. <laughs> I wonder if he knows David Harbour. He's on Broadway. Hmm. My only connection to Dancing with the Stars is a weird one <laughs> from Stranger Things. Nonsense. Your connection to Gabby, she's a contestant. Oh, yeah, and Gabby. Not is... the one dancing with Mark Ballas, but that's okay. No, who is Gabby dancing with? Gabby is with, I forget. I know um, Mark Ballas is with Charlie D'Amelio, the TikToker. Ugh. Why can't I remember who Gabby's with? Maybe Val Chermakovsky. Don't quote oh, me on that. That name seems familiar. I think, she, I think she's with Val. This is how you know I'm old. Like Charlie D'Amelio. Like there's two D'Amelios this season on it. Yes. Is it well, okay. So that brings me to the bonus point that I wanted to bring up. I wanted to, you know, who's, you have an idea of who's competing this yes. season. I wanted to get your thoughts. Who do you, who do you think could be a front runner? Who do you think is an absolutely ridiculous casting call? Oh, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny. Well, yeah. he'll probably do it because he does that like Chippendale stuff, doesn't he? Yes, and that be all right. That's my my one true love, Jersey Shore. So obviously, I'm going to be calling in for Vinny for Vin Vin. Oh, like that's who you're going to vote for? Every I vote. I actually like hate the voting process, but if if someone does really well, I will call in. I Charlie D'Amelio it. and her mom both have dance experience. Yeah. Um, I don't, Gabby just feels like a, like she was a bachelorette wave. She was an NFL cheerleader. So she'll, she'll do well. Gabby, Yes. Really? Yeah. She used to be an NFL cheerleader. Why didn't they bring that up ever on the bachelorette? I thought they did in the very did first. I, did I just ignore Maybe. it? I was probably looking at my phone. Sorry. I don't know, but I've already told you Wayne Brady's taking home that trophy. We want to know if you are going to watch dancing with the stars. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you like? Yeah. Who do you think is going home week one? Leave it in the comments down below. Or you can add us on Twitter. We're at Cheat Sheet. We're at Showbiz Cheat Sheet on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, you can find all of our wonderful articles at CheatSheet.com. So I want to thank everybody for watching and I hope you tune in next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Later, guys. I, when I like <laughs> passionate about something, I'm just like, whoa! My husband, he is a sucker for any competition show. And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, this is going to be great. I'm excited. We're going to check it out. We're going to do it. Oh, I'll we be tuning in live, baby. Yeah. <laughs>